Hey, Bill. Let's get my imagination. Hey, Bill. All right, we're going to be doing a Tang Garden unboxing here. This is the Kickstarter. It's just come through with all the, I think this is the full deluxe uh, bundle. Comes with everything. Yeah, amazing. Um, you can still see me if I sit on the table. Yeah, but you, we can still see you if you sit on your chair too. So you can sit on the chair, not on the table. Okay. So this came with the base game, which you can see here. Also, we'll be looking at the Herbalist and but the Wayfarer, which Can adults. I have a, um, can I be the girl one? You can play as the girl one if you like. And then we also yeah, have because, um, the girl's pretty the and you can be the boy tree. one. You can be the boy one. And the swan because components there whoever, too. Whoever um, is a girl gets to have the girl one. Well, what if boys want those ones? And what if the girls want the boy ones? Well, I don't want the boy ones. Oh, okay. We also have uh, some upgraded coins here in this nice little koi decorated bag. And Dad, can this coins. be my ribbon? That could be your ribbon. Why not? <laughs> Mummy used it to wrap up the Tang Garden box before. So here we have a selection of coins. So got the 10 and this little tiny one here there's the one okay fantastic zooming did you already do it i already did that bit yeah okay so we'll take a look we'll start with the base or the basic game here all right so i'm gonna lower this down there's Why are you going to open it? So we can see what's inside. And we have the rule book. It feels Dad, really can nice I and glossy. A bit of, a bit of the bottom. The bottom? Of the board? No, of the camera. Oh no, you can't touch the bottom of the camera. Why? Sorry, Bob. Well, I'm, I'm still using it at the moment. So here we have the board with these holes punched in it. Mom, we'll have a look at that stuff in just a second. When are you going to get the Doritos? <laughs> yeah. Those Doritos are on the way. So here we go. So that's the board there. So nice, beautiful board there. And then these holes, if I zoom in, that's where we're going to place the, the Are you features. Playing? No, I'm not playing. I'm just just looking at the pieces, just looking at the components at the moment. Okay. But why did you take the board out? So if we have a look here, these are just in here, so they come out here. What does go here? Here are the player boards. Did you take some out already? There we go, nice on did the other side. Did you take some out already? No, it didn't take some out already. Was it? They were already punched out like that, Bob. Okay, and we the have, ones who make it. We have the characters and here. The ones who Child. Make it. Got a few different characters there. Can't really remember which ones are which at the moment, but we've got some character cards there. And down in this little well. These are the uh, decoration cards. So they're the basic ones from the game. You can see they'll go in there. Over here. These look like the bases for the little, um, I forgot what they're called, the pagodas, whatever they are. And some cubes, tracking the player color. Oh, no, sorry for tracking the um, elements. And these are the bases for the different characters. Those colors there. Uh, what have we got here? So that looks like the wells for the, that's where the uh, pagodas will go. And different components there. We have a look under here. Here we go. So we have all the punch boards. Out. So you can see here, there's a, I think that's the sunset, 
It's a double sided so you can sort of have it going either direction. It is rounded on one side. Now you can see the, the black core punch board. And so that goes, this is one of the long ones, so it goes, that simply slots in like so. And what do you think, Maisie? How's that Dorito? Good? All right. Did you, you take go. a picture of me? No, I didn't take a picture of you. And there you go, that's how it fits in there. If we take another one, doesn't really make a lot of sense that we can see the... Well, I suppose you sometimes have the moon out at the same time, don't you? Uh, and we put that alongside. Okay, and that just slots in there nicely. And there you have the backdrop together there. And if we pull that back out... Okay. We have a look there. That's... Pretty good. No damage there, so that seems like it's going to go in and out quite nicely. Okay. If we have a look at the punch board, you've got all sorts of other backgrounds. We've got the dragons. This artwork's come out really nicely. I forget the artist's name, but um, it's done a really, really good job. And here are some of the trees, so punch those out. Let's see. Okay, they punch out nice and smoothly. Really feel nice. And you can see very thick. It's got that, that core. Very nice. And if we get another, if we get the other one out, I think this is the opposite side. Try to do this one handed. At least it's my right hand. Okay. What about yellow ones? You don't like yellow ribbons? No. No? Okay. Did you hear me say I, ribbons? I did hear you talking about ribbons. Okay. There we go. So let's say, couldn't tell you what type of tree that is, but that's a tree. Black. I'll take a character. Who we got here? Someone with a fan. So I'm not sure if I'm lining up this colour right. They've probably got colours that they're specifically assigned to, but I'm not sure what those are at the moment. But that fits in nice and snugly. You can shake it around, doesn't fall out, and doesn't get stuck in there too easily as well. That comes out nice and easily, but still enough friction to hold it in. That's the lady. There you go. So I suppose you want to see the pagodas. Alright, so there's the base. You can see the symbol for placing the characters. Oh, I just gave him a little nudge. Well, I just what you did. Okay. So that's the that's where you place the character. Let's have a look here. We have looks like I probably should read some instructions before putting these together, but let's just give it a shot. Now, let's see if I would have put this in here. This could be upside down, but we'll, we'll see. And let's see if there's any clue there. Probably only need one of these. So I probably didn't need two of those, probably just need the one because now that I'm looking at it, there's only... Hmm. Maybe I should put this in first. Well, really what I should do is read the instructions. Hmm. Okay, so... Three sides there. Dad, have you oh, never this game? No, this is brand new, Maisie. It's just arrived. Do you want this game? Oh, absolutely I did. I've been waiting for this one a long time. So here we go. So we've got the oh, that's what those are section for. there. We're going to just hopefully slide that right in. Let's see. Sorry about the close-up there. Oh, 
And there we go. Nice little pagoda. Looks very nice. And we'll get the lady. There you go. There she is. Looking out the window. Let's put that down over here. Okay. How about we'll look at these bridges? Yeah, I think you do something like that. Oh, there you go. That side, that side. And so if we have a look here, try and keep this on camera this time. One. Opposite sides there. These two pieces. So one really flat side, one slightly rounded side. And I'm guessing we slide that in. Let's be careful. There we go. Don't force it. Okay. Try and push those together. That's nice, Macy. All right. Why are you whispering? Because you're doing that. Oh, thank you. So there you go. Uh, I would recommend, you can see there's a little bit of, whoopsie. You can see, I don't know, I don't know if you can quite pick that up, but a little bit of tearing there on the edge of the sort of cardboard bit. So just got to be real careful when putting those um, bits in, can tear a little bit, but still, it's pretty nice. There's the spot where the character stands here. I don't know if you can pick that up. So if we take another character, who's this this time? Well, let's get someone different. Let's get um, the child. See the child? A lot smaller. Oopsie, in comparison to the lady. So it could scale up. Again, I think I'm using totally the wrong color here, but just to give you an idea. There's the child on the bridge. And that one nice. goes in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that is, those are the major sort of pieces, I guess. So here you can see the tokens for things like the other decorations, the more sort of 2D ones, all koi. Again, nice and thick and solid. Feel really nice in the hand. And the other ones there, you got the birds and the peonies and the, what are they, the lilies? The lilies or something. We have, uh, these are the punch board coins. Still very nice. And uh, the, uh, the powers that you can, once per game powers that you can trigger. So, you sit on the, see Daisy, the lanterns, that's what they're called, lanterns. So, you sit on or near your player board, I think. And here we go. Oh. So, these are the tiles. So, very nice. They've got the symbols that tell you what decorations can go on them. And they've got their stack symbol on the back, so you know which stack they go in. Again, now there, I don't know if you can pick that up, showing the difference, but that's not black core. So these are still the still feel very nice, feel a lot nicer than I was sort of. I was hoping these wouldn't be really flimsy, but these actually feel really nice, nice finish to them, nice and thick, but it isn't black core. It's just regular cardboard, looks like. Um, and then I suppose you might want to see, let me put that down, we'll grab a couple of these. So, you can see here, you can join, so the game's all about joining up the different elements, making sure the picture 
back of the garden that you're creating makes sense. So that looks really nice. And then if we grab a bridge, this is a spot here for a bridge. So we can put bridge down there. Very nice. Capture the backdrop there. And then of course, the, let's see if I can control my hands here. Okay, we'll put the lady down. Whoa, there we go. Uh, and there she is. Turn that around. Okay, looks very nice. And we can even put a tree down on the grass or the greenery spot there as well. Yeah, looks fantastic. Looks really good. Components are just as nice as I'd hoped. So, very high quality. Excellent. So that's the base, or the base box at least, for Tang Garden. This is the herbalist. Make sure you have one of these little sort of almost like blister boxes. The character, and they come with, oh, this one comes with some tokens. That, there you go. Nice. That probably gives you a better idea of the level of detail on these. It's, and in those same blisters, you also get whatever cards you need for that character too. So this is the character card. So we have one. Oh, it's different languages. Okay. Wow. Okay. So. There you go, if you're looking for different language editions, that comes with all the different editions there, and then you can... Okay, if we have a look at the player boards, sorry, jumping back to the main game for a second. Plenty of room you can see there, let's see. Nice, they fit nicely there. Excellent, this is the Wayfarer. There we go, that's much better. Look at that. Okay, so I'll put him down. I don't think he comes with as much, uh, as many components, but let's see. it doesn't, doesn't come with any tokens, but I think, I think this guy was like an early bird. Here, uh, here is the apricot tree. So there's the apricot tree. Very nice, very pretty. This is the swan decoration. So, what do we got in here? And in terms of the card sizes, I think these are going to fit that sort of reddish um, fantasy flight. But I think they're mini Euro cards, I think these are. Could be wrong. That's what I think they are. So Swan. Um, swan equals unequal. Don't really know what that means. But anyway, you've got two, two swans. Now Golden Age, I think, was just the... They just put every all the stretch goals. I think they just put them all in this box. And then it will come out as a... Uh, or maybe they're the exclusive, Kickstarter exclusives, but... I think this might come to retail as well. I'm not 100% sure. No. It's got some extra tiles here. So you got things like the hedge maze. Some just some interesting shapes. A bridge there over the Rocky Canyon. Different things there, and some different um, different lantern powers. Okay. And all oh, these look nice. Some more backdrops. I just really like these backdrops. Another dragon that you can see with a white tiger. That's really cool. Some horses. Captain horses. This is really nice. This uh, Buddha statue. I guess that's Buddha. Waterfalls. Some uh, looks like rice paddies and a town in the background, Kite Festival. There we 
go. Some more decorations, different, some of the expansion decorations there, I guess, or stretch goals. Nice all uh, building. <laughs> Not sure what type of building that is. Um, and then if we have a look in here, just so you can see, this does come with a sort of moulded insert as well, some new characters, and you can see some, it's got even more colours in there, some of those look very similar, um, and yeah, some more characters there, very nice. Now this well actually looks like it actually might fit with sleeved cards. I have to, always, sometimes they look like they do and then at the bottom they sort of they fold up the edges but anyway hopefully that'll be wide enough and deep enough for sleeved cards. And there are some of those decorations so you can see the butterfly and Hmm, zero points, that looks really worthwhile. I'm sure that's got some other special rule. And then here's the scenario die. So that's the, got these symbols on it. And you roll this, I think you, I think they've got another die in maybe the ghost stories box as well. And you roll these and it tells you what scenario to play. So that's really nice. So that's the golden age box. We can go through the last box here, which is Ghost Stories. So this is, I think, Kickstarter exclusive. I don't know that this one will come out in retail. It is limited edition, it says here, but you never know. Maybe you can get it through the website, through Thundergriff. But yeah, this one's got sort of more of a spooky, supernatural theme. And it also comes with this module here which is like where you're building like a, a temple and keeping track of some of these other elements here when you're building the temples. Where'd Sandy go, Maisie? I <laughs> don't know. Probably upstairs. Almost. Oh, Sandy's actually sitting at the table. You just probably can't see him. See, there he is. Looking unimpressed. Get that stuff off the table so I can have it back. They certainly make beautiful games. All right, let's have a look here. What have we got? Oh, finger. Okay, so these are those Imperial Palace sort of um, spirit animal or home animal boards. Look at the, the sheen there. That's really nice. Yeah, that's really nice. That's the dragon. I think you can be sort of vying for control of this dragon going up the track if you match up the dragon or the yeah, the other dragon symbol or something like that when you make your so you can see the glossy got like a phoenix tiger and a, a snake or a tortoise snake and a tortoise not really sure I guess it's a tortoise because that shell there okay Oh, I see. Okay. So you've got a ghostly spectral tree here. So we've got a phoenix. Great wall. Some sort of deserted wasteland. Spooky wasteland and like ghost town. Mm -hmm. and these are those. So again, these are just the same. Same type of thing as the base game tiles. You can see, oh, they've even got the sheen on them. That's really nice. And if you look on the other side there, you just mix these in with the stacks, I think. So you might, when you draw a new or reveal a new tile, these will be on some of those stacks, which go here. So instead of taking a tile for the garden, you could take one for your own personal Royal Palace. So that's quite good. And then you've got some of these other interesting tiles here. Different shapes. Well, that's a cool one. Some sort of ghostly 
monolith or stone or something in the middle of the lake there. Mm. What else have we got in here? Ah, oh, okay, so these are wooden components for the landscape tiles and I'm guessing the Maybe not the lanterns, they might be, oh, I think I can see them, but yeah, so you've got the landscape tiles there. This is a kitsune, I think that's one of the ghostly characters. Probably the ghost, uh, I think it puts that out on other characters. Here you can, here you can see another one of those scenario die. Yep. Mm-hmm, got a finger in the way. Yeah, oh, the demon, maybe that's all that puts it. Yeah, I oh, know. Not sure. Anyway, that's the demon. Spectral tree, more decorations. And same thing, so if those wells hold them, they hold them. If they don't, they're all gonna... Yeah, they're all the same, so either they all will hold them or they all will not hold them. Mm. And there you go, there's the demon. I think it's the soldier. Or spectral soldier or something. And I'm not sure what those guys are. What's that? Hmm. Is that a snake or something? Oh, and there's the cat. Oh, Maisie, check it out. There's a little cat. You can touch it. Let's see if it. And look, my hand was covering another one. There's another cat. Should we take the? Let's take that thing off. There's no tape there. Oh, there you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Is it stuck? I'm going to get these cats. You're going to get both cats out. Yeah, because. Oh, okay. where, where are you taking them? I'm going to let them watch me. Oh, they're going to. Okay, they're going to cheat you on. Okay, good luck. Yeah, because they like me. Okay. <laughs> they don't like me. Hopefully I'll get those cats back. Okay, but um, while we're at it, you can have a better look without the glare. Yeah, I think that's a snake. Let's have a look at that. Whoopsie. I think it's a snake. Hmm. Oh, and I just noticed something as well. There's a. I don't know if this is like a first player token or something. I'm not sure if that applies to this game, if that matters. But very nice. Well, that was Ghost Stories. And that was Ghost Stories, Tangard and Ghost Stories. Are they? Yeah. Oh, good job. Good. Those cats are pretty good. And, uh, well, thank you for putting up with this rambling unboxing video, but that was Tang Garden from Thundergriff Games. And, uh, yeah, definitely a very beautiful production, and I've played this a whole bunch of times on Tabletopia, so I know it's a good game too, but, uh, yeah, I hope yours arrives soon, and, uh, yeah, enjoy. Thank you. Thanks, Thundergriff.